Katie, what is this mess in here? What? <laughs> what is this mess? Mess? <laughs> what? what mess? Look at yourself. What? <laughs> Let's just make a craft kit or something. <laughs> <laughs> so corny. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Is your Sean? Sean. Spinny chairs. <laughs> Spinny Joe. Messy, messy filming studio. <laughs> These squeaky chairs are gonna be the death of us. <laughs> Behold, new updated packaging, which we do appreciate. We are not insensitive to the new marketing techniques of Kiss Nastrals. Of Kiss Nastrals. <laughs> I prefer Nastrals. <laughs> so what do you say that we try to squeeze every single bit of fun out of this that you can? Oh, yes. We'll start by struggling with the packaging again. <laughs> it's like we need scissors or something. I know. No. Oh, I tore it. Pull it off. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all this loot that's in this container. Hmm, I see there's a mold here. That's right. Interesting. A worthless spatula. Oh, and not another <laughs> one of those. And we've got another little pourer. We have some witch hazel. I don't know what that is, but it, I've heard of it. We have some tropical sunset fragrance. And, uh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The Krabby Patty secret formula. Well, that's not very disappointing. Descriptive. So I think the secret formula is the entirety of the mixture. So it's got okay. sodium bicarb, which is baking soda, citric acid, corn starch, and then pink mica. So you don't have to measure anything. It all comes pre-measured for you in your little bag. You just dump it in a bowl. Well, that's easy. And no fun. Hey. <laughs> It's good for newbie crafters. Pour the secret formula into the container. Right. Dump it in. Yeah. Oh, it's dusty. <laughs> it's dusty. <laughs> Measure 10 milliliters of witch hazel into the measuring cup provided. I'll help you out. It's perfect. A oh, very nice. Add the witch hazel to the secret formula, mixing with your hands. Now with I have, hands. I happen to know that number one, they didn't give you any gloves for this, so good luck. And number two, this will create foaming action in the bath bomb thing. So just add a little bit and then mixity 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 mix. Katie, our head bath bomb bath bomb associate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very ugly face. Oh, I'm supposed to do it? <laughs> I see how it is. Also, we'd like to tell you a fun fact. Witch Hazel has many lovely synonyms, apparently, including Snapping Hazel, <laughs> which, all right, Magician's Rod. Hmm. It's a liquid, but Magician's Rod, and... Wait, isn't, isn't Witch Hazel come from a plant? Maybe it's a rod form. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it fell back in. We will not discuss whether or not it is a plant. We will simply continue. <laughs> See, it's already foaming. Oh, oh, oh. I'll have you know, against my better judgment, I did not put on gloves because none were provided. Man, that reeks. Can you smell that? Woo! So we're mixed up. We're mixed up. What, what's next? <laughs> Number four, while mixing the contents together, oops, <laughs> add the entire bottle of fragrance. Oh, it's like two milliliters. The whole thing, Katie, don't be chintzy. And you gotta squeeze this sucker. It smells really good, though. That's a really nice fragrance oil. It smells pretty buttery. Hmm, didn't we love the, uh, the fragrances for the lip balms? Yeah, lip balm flavor oil thingies were good, too. Yeah, it seems like Kiss Nat has got their smells down. Yeah, it smells sort of like vanilla to me, but it probably isn't because vanilla would definitely discolor your bath bombs. Maybe vanilla natural flavor. All right, we've mixed for about a minute and I would say it's definitely ready because you can squeeze it together and it clumps and that's typically your test for whether or not your mixture is wet enough is if you can squeeze it and it clumps together in your hand. Hold up. So now it says spoon the contents into the mold, pressing and compacting very firmly into each cavity. 
surely this is not what they expect you to spoon it with. Why would you even include this random spatula? Maybe they had extras. Extras? Forget that spooning thing. Oh my, you're just shoveling it on there, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Is this a dino dig or are we making a bath bomb? Speaking of which, a dino dig might be fun to do. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that something you can just like buy a kit for? Yeah, you just buy like a little dusty rock and then you just chink away at it. See, I remember doing that as a kid at a museum. They had those mm -hmm. types of things, but I didn't know they had them like in little kits that you could get. They do have little kits. I've never gotten to do one though. I've always wanted to. Unlike some of the other kits that we've done, I will say that I think there will be enough to fill all of them to the very, very top. So you are going to get, you know, exactly eight bath bombs out of this. So good on you, Kiss, for including all the materials required. Allow to dry for at least two hours before removing from the mold. So that's it. That's the whole craft right there. Don't they look like four leaf clovers? Yeah, they bit? do. So what are we going to do now? Let's watch a show! Ray! Oh wait, what? Wait two hours? Yeah, that's a long time. What time is it right now? It's uh, 9.30. That means it'd be almost midnight. Can Let's we... let them go to sleep overnight. We'll check back in in the morning. <laughs> Great. Mm. We meet again, Buzz Lightyear, for the last time. Not today, Zerg. <laughs> so, 24 hours later, and right. let's take a look. 24 hours. Oh my. <laughs> Let us recall the moment when I said, Vanilla would definitely discolor your bath bombs. And lo and behold, there was. Look at that brown. The pink is gone. I will say they are hard as little rocks. I'm gonna remove one. That is Ooh. a fat little heart. <laughs> to be fair, we did wait a little longer than they specified to wait. Yeah, but still, I mean, these would sit on your shelf, right? You don't have to use them in a week Right? Let's get a close up on these beauties. I do believe the word beauty is generous. <laughs> they do smell pretty good still. They retained a lot of the fragrance. Mm. So before we test these in any water, shall we reveal to them how much this kit costs and approximately how much each individual heart bath bomb costs? It's $20. It's $20, yes. Yeah. That's what it was. Oh my. So let's divide 20 by 2. So Maths. $10. And then let's divide $10 in half, $5. And then we'll divide $5 in half, $2.50 per bath bomb. $2. So we're going to do a poll right now. Do you think we're going to get $2.50 worth of fun out of one bath bomb? I can't wait to find out. Let's try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Such a scary face. You said that. Already. Though that face reminds me of uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, that looks like a face that she would make. <laughs> She's the queen of ugly faces, and I relish that about her. Let's let's grab up these. Scoop them up, scoop them up. Oh no no no! no, no, no. <laughs> Into the tub. I won't share. We must see what they do. You want to do a drop test of one of them? But will it break though? Pretty good. <laughs> drop test was a success. Drop test. Oh, well, what kind of damage have we got here? Not much. A plus. That's tough. That's tough with a power flex tape. Off to the bathroom for a proper soapy test. <laughs> <laughs> Stop admiring yourself and get in here. Huh? Huh? Oh, what we got? I had a better idea. I thought, let's use this glass bowl instead so that you can get up real close. I inherited this from my mother. I'm sure this is exactly what she had in mind whenever she gifted it to me. Perfect thing for fine china. So let's drop one in. Listen for that sizzle. Oh, that was underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it's going, but it's not very much. It sank to the bottom. The mica is floating on top, so it's not bound to anything. You can barely hear it, like in a bathtub. Also, even for this concentrated water amount, no smell. Like as it's fizzing, I can't smell this at all. And once again, all that mica is just pooling on top, so it would definitely stick to the sides of your bathtub, which isn't great. There's no like polysorbate or anything in there to kind of bind it together. And it also isn't dispersing through the water, so it's not going to turn your water a pretty color either. Oh, that doesn't sound good for our bath bomb kit. <gasps> Again, underwhelming. <laughs> wow, I was expecting something really fun. <laughs>
If I take my finger, run it across the top, the mica is gonna stick to my skin. Look how up. Uh, it's just oh, oh. oh don't show that that's gross <laughs> <laughs> like, look at the water yeah the water this is probably worst final result on any kit i've ever done whoa i mean at least with the lip balm kit you actually had a usable lip balm at the end yeah. the lip balm itself wasn't bad at least with the water candle i could actually light it and it actually floated and with the soap kit those soaps looked pretty good. This is just disgusting. Like it looks bad and again it smells like baking soda and water. Alright so what do you say that we break down this kit? This is the worst night of my entire life. Bar none. You think this is about sushi? Yeet. <laughs> How was that back bomb? <laughs> Get a nice drink of this water. Hey ho! <laughs> Don't you? Oh. I told you it doesn't smell good. The fragrance did smell good whenever we first got it out of this jar. It did. But right now, it doesn't smell that good. No. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. You've got kind of a, a green shirt on, so you're the pro side, and I'll be the con side. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so pros. We can say they actually worked. Like, it did make an actual bath bomb. Yeah. It didn't break, so they were really, really, really hard. So I guess for kids, that'd be good because kids just smash things all the time. The ingredients were accurate, and the pre-measured mix actually made it pretty easy to do. Almost boringly so, but still... <laughs> easy to do. So cons. I'd start out by saying they looked awful. As soon as you put them in water, they they themselves look horrible and they make the water look very murky as you saw. It's very unattractive as far as the product like its results. Yeah. The spatula was not up to scrapey scrapey <laughs> standards. Um, I think that that covers it for cons, but those cons How are so bad. How about the big one, <laughs> the expense? Oh, yes. I mean, what I was gonna say is that even though that's a short list of cons, that's like all the worst things that you could have with it. It's yeah. just that it's not that great of a bath bomb. <laughs> it was a mosquito. Katie's trying to catch a mosquito by hand. <laughs> I'm trying to review a product. Anyway, so it's Definitely not worth. Not even close. Not, not worth even close. twenty dollars for that kit. I'm pretty convinced I could buy twenty dollars worth of individual ingredients and come up with bath bombs that were bigger, better performing, and better smelling. Like again with twenty bucks. Okay. Challenge accepted. Well, that's a great question. Do y'all want to see us do a, a DIY bath bomb video? Yeah, let us know in the <laughs> comments below. Don't be sarcastic. <laughs> But for now, we have some very important news. Important news. News flash. One, two, three. We're, We're going, going to VidCon. VidCon. <laughs> Finally, we deserve it. VidCon is in Anaheim, California. It is their 10th anniversary. It's a big fat deal. Everyone who is anyone is going to be there, including Tana Mojo. Shame on you for not holding to your standards. Tana. We're gonna try to meet Sophia. We're gonna try to meet Rhett and Link. We're gonna try to meet Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden. We're gonna vlog it. We're gonna go to the Studio 71 party where all the creators are gonna be. Ooh. But most importantly, we wanna meet as many of you guys as humanly possible. So come see us in VidCon. We will continue to kind of tell you over the next couple of weeks and remind you, but it is July. July 10th through the 14th. The 14th is a Disney day. 14th is a Disney day. Seriously, would love to see everybody. We talked about trying to make some sort of a meetup, but this is so much easier. Yes! <laughs> so just come and see us, along with your other favorite YouTube creators that will already be there. Right! What else could be more worth it? If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more like it, you can give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment down below. Um... Down there. Down there where our legs are. That's where the comments go. This was a very silly video. Yes, and Katie and I looked over this footage 
the, for the first set of filming and I was like, I don't know if we can let this one go. <laughs> but we watched it and we were like, eh, it's us having fun. So I hope that you enjoyed having fun with us together, even though it's not a very uh, serious or educational video. <laughs> and we will see you all next time. So until then, you have an absolutely marvelous day. Do something that makes you happy, whether that is going and buying a quality bath bomb to put in your bathtub. Ooh. Or, or, I'd say go make your favorite beverage or go drink your favorite beverage because who doesn't love a hot tea or a <laughs> coffee or something? I don't know. <laughs> Just make yourself your favorite beverage or your favorite little snack. Just something tasty to get you through the day. And until next time, have an absolutely royal day and we will see you all soon. So until then, bye for now. Yeah.